the Queen's Gallery. It's an exhibition space fit for royalty, so it seems a fitting home for the largest exhibition of Leonardo da Vinci's drawings in more than six decades. This is a group of drawings that have been together since Leonardo's death in 1519. He left the drawings to his favourite pupil, they passed through just two or three hands in a single album until that album was acquired by King Charles II around 1670. So these drawings have been together in the Royal Collection for about 350 years and together as a group since Leonardo's death. The exhibition groups da Vinci's work thematically as well as chronologically. There are his preparatory drawings for the Last Supper. There are incredibly detailed anatomical sketches and repeated images of animals. And towards the end of his life, there's his vision of an apocalyptic deluge sent to wash everything away. The drawing was the central focus of Leonardo's activity. It's what he used to prepare his artistic projects, but also to pursue his scientific researches and to think aloud on paper, if you like. And so through these drawings, you can really get a first-hand appreciation of Leonardo, the artist, the man, the scientist, and as a, as a flesh and blood individual, I think. We think of da Vinci now as the greatest painter of the Renaissance, but in his lifetime, he was as well known for being a civil engineer, a sculptor, an architect, and a scientist, as he was for his paintings. Still, his drawings provide vital insight into what he planned to do, particularly scientifically. He conducted dissections, he dissected maybe 30 human corpses during the course of his career, concentrated in two quite small periods. He wasn't studying anatomy throughout his career, and ultimately he wanted to publish an illustrated treatise on anatomy. And they are, in some cases to the present day, the most lucid explanations of how the body works, certainly of the Renaissance, and yes, throughout history in some cases. Had he published this book, it would be the most important book on human anatomy to the present day. Despite there being 200 works on display, this exhibition still feels incredibly personal. There are figure studies, beautiful hands and perfect faces, but there are also maps, weapon designs, architectural plans and engineering layouts, encompassing an entire life and one that's meticulously documented. Leonardo da Vinci, A Life in Drawing, is on at Buckingham Palace until October the 13th. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.